What is up, Coratics? Welcome back to the Crypto Enterprises DLC Drip Feed. In this video, we'll be customizing the ninth vehicle of the DLC, which is the Reinhardt. It officially released today, October 13th, and it costs $1.6 million. Very expensive for sure. So I already went ahead and bought it. Here it is. Looks fantastic. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Love the taillights as well. Quad exhaust back there. Love the vent of the bumpers. Very nice. Got the interior there. It looks like from the, the Nero. Okay. I think the Cypher also will use that interior too. Not too bad. Okay. So for those of you who don't know what this car is based on, it's primarily based on the BMW 3 Series Touring, uh, specifically the G21. Very, very cool cars. I personally love the concept of wagons, especially performance wagons. They just look so, so cool. Um, hopefully this kind of maybe inspires Rockstar to add maybe more wagon variants in game, maybe like a CTSV wagon um, or an RS6 Avant. I think that would be super, super cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization for this thing. Reinhardt in the sedans class. Okay. Okay, we got armor, brakes, bumpers. Um, so you have a dropped splitter. Oh, and I do want to kind of preface here. Um, in terms of the build we're going to be going for this car, um, we're going to go for the uh, BMW M3 uh, Touring. That kind of crazy performance uh, BMW. I just love that thing. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. So that's what we're going to be going with for this build. Um, Alright, so you have the drop splitter, Whatever clean, you have the vented Technology. drop splitter, very nice options here if you want something a bit more simple, a carbon splitter, a tipped carbon splitter, which is the carbon splitter with winglets, extra large <laughs> winglets, uh, and then the uh, kind of reinforced one, okay, so I think we'll definitely go with the tipped the carbon splitter, I like that, rear bumpers, Painted rear bumper and some throttle here to get rid of the smoke. Oh, it's not letting me. Huh, interesting. It's just pressing the brake when I give it gas. Okay, well, so you have that option there. I guess from here we can see it a little better. Then you have rear bumper diffuser, which I think is carbon. And then it also adds some fins there. I like that. Uh, painted rear bumper. Then you have the vented rear bumper. Looks pretty good there. Uh, dropped bumper, so it's like an extension. Okay, street diffuser with the reinforcement bracket there. Eh, I don't know about that. <laughs> A bit too much race car there. Race diffuser all the way across and the competition. Okay, I think we'll go with the rear bumper diffuser, like the carbon one. Okay, chassis with seats. Okay, so you get the tuner seats. So if you want like a race car seat look. Oh boy, a roll cage in a wagon. That's pretty cool. So you got the tuner seats with cage. Okay. You got the rate. Whoa, race setup. Jeez. Oh, okay. Wow, it changes the steering wheel too. That's that's pretty crazy. So tuner seats with cage, and then you got the race setup. So carbon door if panels. So it's kind of like I Benny's know. options, but they're all kind of like force with these <laughs> these sections here. Interesting. Yeah, so Benny's upgrades that are kind of forced. I guess you get you get to pick which one you want, but you don't have that much freedom because you only have what three different seats here for this section. And then if you like this one, I believe that's the only one. Yeah, interesting how they did that. Um, I I like the stock seats. Honestly, I'm not going for a race car track or drift build, so <laughs> we'll keep that. Um, engine, exhaust. So you got single bore. You got the small bore, double, okay, looks like a titanium on the double, it won't let me rev it so I can't really tell that much. Uh, chrome double bore, that was a pretty good angle here, aluminum slanted, chrome slanted, what the, oh, single, <laughs> what, <laughs> okay, that's pretty interesting, so if you want double side, and then the double front side exit wow so if you want like a race car wagon i guess if you want to go for that route you have all the options here to do that okay um i think we'll go for the chrome double bore or maybe the chrome slanted oh i like the sl oh i see the tips are slanted oh i like that okay we'll go for the chrome slanted 
grill. So you got the grill slats. I'm not a fan of the way that looks, honestly. Uh, custom intercooler, I, I guess. It looks pretty decent. Um, it'll be a bit too custom for my taste. I do kind of like the the mesh at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep the mesh. Um, hood, so you got a race hood. I like this option. This is nice. So if you want a more clean look, um, I would definitely go for the race hood because the stock smooth hood, I think it's a bit too simple. This one's really nice. Nice option there. You got a carbon version of that. Then you got the tuner hood with the kind of like vent look there. And that is very, very similar to the uh, 2021 um, M3. Absolutely love that. Really cool option there. You got the carbon tuner hood version of that. You got a street hood, which looks to be based on the E90 M3 hood. Very random, okay. Uh, co competition. Race spec, an E90 race car M3, okay. Race spec, and oh, okay. All right, <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll go with the uh, tuner hood. Love that, M3 hood. Um, skip that, lights, xenon, liveries. So you got black stripes, okay. More like black with white accent. It's like a single stripe, okay white stripe version of that simple ubermock racing okay zero gas racing atomic racing perseus okay hawk and little so racing liveries Whatever for the most part that's, these are all wow Technology that one's quite interesting like complex that's <laughs> that's pretty interesting huh uh, that's a cool livery though, I'm not gonna lie. It does look pretty cool, it's different. If you want to go for a racing livery, I would definitely go with one of these two. That's that's nice. Okay. Alright. Lots of racing liveries to choose from, that's for sure. Uh, I'm not gonna go that route, and I don't really like how stripes look on a wagon, so I guess we'll skip that. Um, plates, black background. I don't really have a BMW plate or an M Performance plate, so I'm gonna go with family because it's a station wagon. So ironically, we'll put a family family plate on it. I think, I think that looks pretty cool on there, especially like on a performance kind of build. Um, respray. So for this, I do want to go with something kind of similar to that really cool greenish color they used on the uh, newer M3s. Um, so we're gonna go to. A metallic gasoline green, and then for pearlescent, we'll throw a. We get there. There we go. Throw a racing blue pearl. And I feel like it makes it pop to give us that kind of bluish greenish color. I think it looks fantastic. So we'll do Your that. Um, secondary color in this car is. Is it is interior stitching? Oh yeah, interior stitching. You can kind of see it there with a dash little bit on the seats. Okay, I guess we'll go with a gasoline green to match, I suppose, even though you could barely see it, but yeah, really hard to see that. Maybe we'll go with like a brighter green, no, not, not, not lime green. I can do it. Bright green? Okay, we'll just throw the gasoline Lime green on there. Maybe we can see it better driver. during the day. Um, trim color, okay, so obviously the <laughs> interior there. Okay. Um, Hmm. I guess. I don't know. W with my color combo, maybe white interior, but I think that will look kind of weird with this. Yeah, looks a bit strange. I don't want to do a tan interior either or red. Honestly, I think the black works best with this color combo build we have going on here. So we'll just do the black. Um, Crumblem goes on the hood. Okay. M most of the new cars go on the door, so I'm surprised this one puts it on the hood. All right. Roof, you have ribbed roof, carbon version of that, looks pretty sick. You have the ridged roof, carbon version of that. Then you got the carbon vortex, which is like the antenna, kind of like the real car. Um, double vortex, carbon car, straight, carbon version of that, double. A roof scoop, yeah, if you, if you want to go the race car <laughs> route, definitely some options. Oh, the roof box, that, that one's cool. I do like that, that's sick. The roof box on a wagon, that looks fantastic. I love that. That's <laughs> awesome. Secondary. Oh, the surfboard. <laughs> okay. That's a <laughs> different surfboard. I like that. That is sick. 
Um, I do like the carbon roof look on this. That, that looks insanely good. I think we'll do the carbon ridged roof. Uh, sk side skirts. You got the street carbon. Primary carbon street. Isn't isn't the street and carbon the same thing, or is that like a plastic? I guess it's like a plastic look. Okay. Carbon. Then you got the race skirts. It's a bit different there in the look from this angle. Oh yeah, it's a bit like wider towards the rear. Okay. Do you need a drink? Oh, here you go. Here you can see it better. There you go. Yep. That that's pretty cool. Um, carbon race winged skirts. That's that's that's. I think a little over aggressive, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Stab your leg getting out of the back seat. <laughs> um, I think we'll go with the, the carbon race skirts. Is there carbon? Yeah, carbon race skirts. We'll go with that. Spoiler upgrade. So you have a sport boot spoiler. Kind of similar to the M3, the way it has the um, M3 wagon in real life. The way it has that um, rear spoiler section like that. Okay. Race boot, boot lip spoiler, large cutouts. What the heck? <laughs> okay, <laughs> wow, <laughs> a big wheel. Oh my gosh, got a bench seat strap back there. <laughs> okay, um, I'm not seeing any carbon versions though. That's that's kind of annoying. I would have loved to have seen a carbon version that kind of like continue that carbon roof line all the way to the back. Um, so that's kind of annoying that we don't have that option, but make sure you put one of the spoiler upgrades because you can see the traction bar going up there, but... Huh, okay, I guess we'll go with the sport. As good as you. They should have at least given a secondary. I, I wouldn't have mind maybe painting that black just to get that spoiler or something similar to the carbon, but... Anyways, sun strips. Well, if you like sun strips, you can go with one of those. Um, suspension. Yeah, this thing definitely needs to be lowered. Not not that low. <laughs> that's pretty, that's like slammed. Okay, I think we'll go with the sport suspension there. Transmission, turbo, wheels. So there's a wheel actually pretty similar to the, the newer M3 Touring. Um, and that's in the track category and it is the um, modern mesh. They're, they're pretty similar. So definitely gonna do that. Wheel color black, oh man. That is gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> that looks so good. I'm really happy with that. That's awesome. Windows, black them out. Yeah, black them out. And that's all the options there. Not bad. The only thing that kind of annoys me a bit is the spoiler thing that we can't do carbon. But other than that, very cool. All right, exit to ground. Looks fantastic. Oh, it's raining. Oh man. Well, this thing is all-wheel drive, so that's 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 good. <laughs> wow, sounds pretty good. Really good exhaust note. Sounds kind of like raspy too. First person. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, floor it here. Of course, all-wheel drive. I mean, it's not, it's not like sports car fast from what I can feel so far, but moves pretty quick. I mean, it isn't a sedan's class, so you gotta remember that. Yeah, I mean, I can't give too much of an opinion on the, the handling because uh, <laughs> of the rain, but it feels pretty decent so far. I mean, I'm guessing it probably just drives like a normal sedan. It is all-wheel drive, though. A lot of understeer. I don't know if that's because of the rain or yeah, a lot of understeer there. So from what I'm feeling here, even though it's a little more difficult in this weather, uh, but I I think it's just like a sedan, but with a lot more understeer. That's, that's pretty much the way it drives from what I'm feeling here, and apparently no oversteer either. We have the sport upgrade and all-wheel drive. Let me force it a little here. Yeah, pure pure understeer. Force it around that there. Trying to get some speed here. Hopefully we don't get our car crossing the intersection. 
Yeah, I mean, it's decently quick, but I mean, it's not blisteringly fast. It's not a uh, crazy new sports car fast. It's quick, though. Very quick. And that speedometer is definitely wrong in first person that I just saw. <laughs> Turn. Oh, there's the understeer. I knew it was going to get us eventually. I knew it was going to get us eventually. Alright, let's open all the doors and stuff here. Oh, broke the hood a little bit. Oh, it is what it is. At least it's GTA. It's not real life. We recall it, and the repair is free. Okay. Um. Oh. Engine model. I believe this is reused from the Cipher. Looks great. I mean, it, it, it they did good with the engine cover, but then the texture quality around that is uh yikes. <laughs> but from far away, it looks pretty decent. Interior. We already talked about that from the Nero. What is that center console? It goes all the way to the back. I don't like the way they did that. It looks kind of weird. I mean, I know these cars are supposed to have that, but not that tall. It looks a bit strange, and it kind of just goes through the back seats. It doesn't even, like, contour to them. Okay. The wagon, the hatchback here. Love that. That's I, I, that's what I love about the wagons. You have that... that kind of, that ton of space back here, you know, you have the height, you can put larger items back here, and the look, I mean, you just, you just can't beat the look. There's something about a performance wagon, it just looks so, so cool. I like it. Do I like it for 1.6 million dollars? I don't know. That That's something that you kind of have to think about, um, because at the end of the day, there's, there's a lot of other vehicles to compare it to, uh, but... I don't know. That's a tough one. Because, I mean, with upgrades and everything, I'd say you're getting close to the $2 million mark. Uh, you're in supercar territory for that amount of money. So, definitely something to think about. I will probably wait for a discount, personally. But, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.